are many reasons why you want to consider investing in real estate. First, it can help you diversify your portfolio with less risk. Second, real estate investments often have the potential to generate higher returns than traditional investments. It can provide additional income in the form of dividends or interest payments. According to the S&P 500 index, the average annual return on investment for residential real estate in the United States is 10.6%. Commercial real estate averages a slightly lower ROI of 9.5%, while REITs average a slightly higher 11.8%. While interest rates will always affect supply and demand, and inflation affects building costs, there will always be opportunities out there, regardless of whether it's a buyer's market or a seller's market. Real estate is still one of the best ways to build wealth. It is one of the best ways to plan for your retirement, your kids' college, and for your future. Having a real estate agent who's well-versed in real estate investments, the local market, and the potential return on your investment is super important. Think about it. You always want to have a great doctor, the best lawyer, a great accountant, and having a great realtor is also just as important. So make sure you hire the right person and you will be so glad you did. When you invest in real estate, one of the most important things is picking the right location because that is what will yield you the best return in the future. Then if the property needs improvements, you need to make sure the improvements you're planning to do will give you the best ROI. Real estate can be a life-changing investment if done right. Think about it. You're paying a car payment of likely at least $700 a month, and you get a new car every three years, so it really never gets paid off. What if instead of doing that, you got yourself a good, reliable car that got you from point A to point B and invested that money in real estate for 10 years? If you invested in a fund with a 7% rate, you'd have roughly $121,000. If you invested in a property, with only $3,900 down payment, you can obtain a $130,000 property on a 30-year mortgage payment of roughly $700 a month. After 10 years, how much do you think that would be valued at? A lot more than what you paid. You can live in it, you can rent it out so the renter can pay your payments for you. Yes, you have to manage it and maintain it. But if you ask me, that is a much better investment for your $700 then your car payment or any other use of that money. If you don't believe me, the data speaks for itself. The cumulative appreciation rate in Kansas City over the past 10 years has been 95.5%. That means an annual average Kansas City house appreciation rate of 6.93. From 2021 Q2 to 2022 Q2, Kansas City appreciation rate was at 12.3%. Kansas City real estate appreciation rate in the quarter from 2022 Q1 and 2022 Q2 was at 4%. So that equates to an annual appreciation rate of 17.01%. Kansas City metro home values have gone up 11.3% over the past year. How's that for obtaining a long-term investment? The Kansas City market is still a seller's market even with the higher interest rates. Our inventory is low and the demand is still high. Home supply is still under the two month mark to be sold, which means we are not in a buyer's market yet. It's just perhaps not as crazy of a market as it was in 2020 or 2021. That is great news for sellers and long-term investors, but it's also great news for buyers. Interest rates have really helped our market be more balanced. Real estate is super local in Kansas City, and there are still a lot of great opportunities for buyers to obtain great properties, whether to buy and hold, renovate and sell, or to just sell and move to a new home. I specialize in all things real estate and return on investment. And if you're interested in buying or selling in the Kansas City area, I would love to help you.